So start with your background and all your witchy stuff. My room basically looks like that as well. <laughs> okay, let's start there. Perfect. <laughs> so tell me about your connection to witchcraft. Tell me about your connection to spirituality. I want to hear all the wonderful yeah, things. Yeah, so basically I don't usually talk about this very publicly, but I'm an extremely spiritual person and I am a Wiccan, actually. <gasps> Okay. I kind of studied witchcraft for the past like six or seven years of my life. And I pretty much daily do my candle spells and my tarot. And I have a really, really deep connection with spirituality and the spirit world, really. I truthfully believe in it. Oh, so we're we're not, this isn't a soul connection. We're sisters. We've lived this life before. <laughs> sisters of the moon, baby. Okay. So, this, okay. So, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago did you start your journey? Um, I think about like six or seven years ago. Okay. Do you know what but the I've, moment was that inspired it? I've always been uh, super into witchcraft since I was a kid. Yeah. Like watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch and The Craft and all those movies. Those are some of my favorite movies. Yeah. But I, I actually really believed in magic and spirits when I was a child. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote a lot about stuff like that. Like I was a writer since I was really young and I loved writing stories about uh, witches and spirits. And when I was really, really young, I was actually kind of really obsessed with spirit games types of stuff so where like okay. I would take like a Ouija board to school, uh, for example, <laughs> and have like sessions during lunch times with the kids or me and my friend Yajmi, we would like make up different spells to do during the day and we had like spirit investigations we were always like looking for spirits when we were young so i always feel like i had this like really deep interest in that and then in the eighth grade we had this year-long project that we had to do yeah like we had to choose a subject that we had to investigate for the whole year and write it sort of like a booklet about it and mine was about witchcraft <laughs> so i feel like it's always been there but then i rediscovered it a few mm -hmm. years ago when I was in a place where I needed spirituality, sort of. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think the people I always feel most bonded with are the ones that really came into this in childhood and it was an organic yeah. thing. And then, you know, you're told to, you know, it's all in your head. You try to be cool. You try to fit in. And... I never thought it was all in my head. <laughs> I never. never. I knew I was weird. I knew I was different. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, the craft... Although the ideology is very cool, it's very 90s and grunge and it's iconic and it's a cult classic. It was the first time that I watched a movie in my early, like, I can't remember, early teens, preteens, that I was like, it's not just me. It's not right. just me that thinks this way. It's not just me that has this like obsession with the occult because I didn't really have any girlfriends that were into it. And you're almost afraid to talk about it because you're the demonic kid. You're the kid that believes right. in all this weird shit. And even to this day, I've had so many spiritual interactions and so same. many. Yeah, same. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Now, it, and even. It and, makes and you feel weird to talk about it because so many people will question you and not believe you. But I truthfully believe in it.